Hey, third grade. Today you're going to get back your Chuck Close inspired portrait that we've been working on lately. Um, you're also going to need to get some crayons for your hair and your shirt. So if you do not have your background done, you need to do that first. If you haven't done your skin, you need to do that second. I am all ready to move on though. So I'm going to use this brown and it's called apricot. So it's almost like a skin color. I'm going to use that for my hair. We talked about um, last time that if you have a design that um, goes to another part of the hair. So like here on this background, I agree with this purple stripe. Well, I continue that design all the way to the edge of the square. So even onto my face here, I have this circle. I'm going to continue that. It might be kind of hard to see if you have dark hair, like you can see mine's very black as well as my shirt might be kind of hard to see, but that is okay. We're still going to go ahead and add those details to our artwork. So I'm adding some brown. I'm going to come in with that other color. When you are done with your hair, you're ready to work on your shirt. Don't forget to bring the hair all the way down. Remember, your hair comes pretty much down to the edge of your eyes. All right, girls, obviously you'll have to do a little bit more. All right, I know it's hard to see what the coloring that I did in mine, but that is still all right. So last but not least, I need to do just a couple of colors for my shirt. I'm going to do a blue and orange. Just like before, I'm going to pick one color, add a bunch of designs for that color. Remember to do um, a different design for each square. So you need to be looking at those different uh, squares that you drew the first day. I've added orange to all these squares, finishing this off with my last color, just filling in anything that I did not color with orange on my shirt. All right. Um, for the background, I asked you to use either warm or cool, same as the face. When you get to your hair and your shirt, um, you can use whichever two colors you want for those things, but don't do any more than two. So I chose blue and orange for the uh, shirt. I chose brown and apricot for the hair. Don't go using an entire rainbow for those kinds of things. When you are this far, you are all finished. All right, so make sure you get the background done. You do your face. Remember to work around your eyes and your mouth. We're not going to color that in. Do your hair. Do your shirt. These go in a nice neat pile up front when you're all finished.